but not fit for human consumption. I wanted to do this video a long time, but I didn't do it under my other channel, Glendon007. That's mostly for the storage auction stuff. But the title of this segment, The Degree Myth. This is something that is being rammed down the throat of any intelligent person in the United States of America. You need a degree to be successful in life, which is essentially a bunch of bullshit because the scores of people who are making above average income, and average income is 46 grand a year. What that means is 50% of the people in this country make less than $46,000 a year. When you crank it up to 65,000, 75% of the people make less than that number. And when you get up to 100 grand, it's like 20% of the country makes more than that. Yet, roughly 35% of the people in this country hold a degree. This number's not adding up. And actually, actually I'm going to even break it down further. One of the things that you really need to understand, there is, for most degrees, no direct correlation between having a degree and income. Let me say that again, because people are going to like, that's not true. I've heard it. Even the president said it. You need a degree, higher education. It's just on and on and on. What you need are specific and marketable skill sets, which can be gained through earning a degree, or you can learn on your own through experience, apprenticeship, internship. Give you an give you a great example. Take Silicon Valley, which has an average income of seventy-five thousand a year, yet only fifteen percent of the people in that area have a degree. Why is that? Well, why is that? Because there's a tech area. Tech does not care if you have a degree or not. Tech cares if you can get the job done and solve problems. If you are some little grungy little kid in your basement that comes up with a new app, guess what? You could be making six to seven figures a year because you've solved a problem. You've created something better that makes people's lives better, easier, more fun, whatever. That's how you make money. Let's go back down to the degree myth. First of all, there's a few degrees that you have to have to do the job, such as being an attorney, a doctor, an engineer. There's certain training that you have to have for those fields. But how many fields are there like that? Seriously, when you just go through the catalog of college degrees, there's probably 50, maybe 60 fields where you absolutely have to have a degree. Like I said, you know, uh, nursing, say uh, chemistry. And what's really funny about that is if you're like Dean Carmen, you've heard of the guy. Oh, you know his name? He's the guy that invented the Segway. He did not finish school. He went in, got what he needed, and got out of school, excuse me, withdrew himself out of school, and started inventing shit and became a multimillionaire. And, you know, understand, this video is not saying that education is not valuable. Information is the most valuable commodity in the world. That There's no disagreement with that. My disagreement is the degree thing. It's leading a lot of people to pile on tons of unnecessary debt. If you're getting a degree in history, English, philosophy, and you're not going to law school, you could be in trouble. Once again, those type of degrees, and you're not going to be a teacher. Once again, you're in trouble because a lot of people don't understand. This is how you're paid. It's not how cute you are. It's not how great you are. Your pay is determined by how easy it is to replace you. Therefore, if you're easy to replace, your payment, your pay will be lower. If you're easy to replace, your pay will be significantly lower than if you are super rare. Case in point general labor, someone who's picking up trash. Anyone can do that. You're going to make 8 10 bucks an hour. Say you're an orthopedic surgeon, um, like a guy I know, Dr. Bush. 700000 to a million or more. Why? Tons of training, tons of expertise, and it takes a very long time to become an orthopedic surgeon. Undergrad, medical school, four to five year residency, a fellowship. That's a huge chunk of your life. And if you're good, the sky's the limit. But once again, I know people who, you know, this is one of the things I learned about, love, love about business. 
if you have a good business idea and you have the tenacity, the drive, and the intellect to make it work, you could be making a high, you know, five-figure salary to low six-figure salary within two to four years, which is the same amount of time it takes to get a degree. Also, just like a degree is not a sure path, having your own business is not a sure path. But in life, we take risk. But the big deal is, do not allow that to seize your mind to the point that I must get a degree, I must get a degree. Ask yourself this, if you're going to school, why am I going to school? And once I earn this degree, what's going to be the outcome? If you're like, I'm earning history and it's going to be real difficult for me to find a job. I mean, don't believe me. Check out the blogs of people who have 3.5s, 3.4s, serious GPAs, can't find a job because a GPA will not find you a job. That means that the curriculum that they gave you, you did well. Big whoop. I'm serious. There's a guy in India right now who's coming up with an email app. I'm sorry. He's coming up with a, a mobile phone app, and he's going to make more money in two years than you will in your whole freaking life. And he's in a village with a bowl outside. This is the world. You've got to, you've got to solve problems, or you have to invent something, or you have to build something. <laughs> this is a knowledge-based economy. That doesn't mean you have to have a degree. If there's certain things, you know, if you want to get one, go ahead. But go to community college. Pay cash as you go and don't get in six figure debt for a job for a degree that's only going to get you a five figure job. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't when there's other avenues. There's uh, other ways, like myself. Uh, the job I did when I got out of the military, I spent six months in a military MOS and it got me a job just like that in a recession. I had the skills, I had the credentials, and I moved right on into the job. Whereas I had friends who had less stellar MOSs, and they struggled to find a job. The guys that were in Intel, crypto, medical MOSs, no problem. What is it? It's skill set. It's skill sets and experience. But I want you to do the research because many colleges know, you know, the so-called degree premium. It's a sleight of hand with data because if you pull the doctors out and the engineers and all of these high income degree professions and you just put in degree people with regular run of the mill jobs with high school grads with regular run of the mill jobs, there's not that much difference except the high school grad doesn't have the student loan debt load that the degree person does. Understand, you know, education is critical. You have to be able to learn new skills, new things going forward. That's just the way the world's going to be. But do not get caught up in the degree myth because there's so much documentation that it's not necessary to have a degree to make a lot of money. If that's your goal in life, if your goal in life is to be a studier of flowers and you want to be the best horticulturist in the world, and you go to school and you get a master's, and that's your goal, you're a success. But if your job, if your goal is, now, if your goal is to go to college and make a million dollars a year, unless you choose the right degree, which is usually going to be a management, consulting, and you're going to have to go to B school, and it's going to be Wall Street, or somewhere like that, and only the cream of the crop is going to get those jobs. So if you're in a class of 150 and only the top 3%, that's 15 folks that are getting those jobs. So the other 135 are, guess what? You're back to the regular shit like everyone else. Yet you just spent $150,000 for your master's degree. I'm telling you, it, it is sad, it is tragic, and it's leading our kids to do crazy stuff because I hear it. I need to get a degree. I need to get an education. I need to get a good education. But what's missing is the specifics. You need a specific education to do a specific thing. Understand, there's a huge difference between making money and being a well-educated, very interesting, very well-read person. 
I know many people that fit that program, and they're all broke. I'm a, I'm a regular guy. But the thing is, I learned how the game is played. You know, you make money by serving people, not being by, served by people and saying how great you are. Doesn't cut it. All right, this is Glendon. Today, business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel, they'll see me and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned. When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see, let me go ahead and get that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already, they did really well with 30 days to 2,500, remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them. Then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway, because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy and it's not. It's one of the most complicated things that you'll do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under. All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this. Money management is the basis of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money well, you're not going to manage a lot of money well. It's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they never learned how to manage money. They never learned how to compartmentalize, how to do the five checking account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. And I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people take this course and they booked a consult because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're gonna go to the third course, becoming a boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you'll take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right, this is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course, uh, the Power of Six Productivity course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done, how to, what's the priority, what's not priority. This course will do it for you. All right. So the fifth course you will get, scripted days. 
this is a life changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits. It will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual. A lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days for 2500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had A, a business, or B, a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resale. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead. You know, if you have a business owner, if you go through, because 30 days to 2,500 is a long course. It's going to take you about two months to go through it, but it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. Structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the Art of Holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2,500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner, but essentially taking those lessons derived from that course, you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids, all kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right. The DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't going to buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me, uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This, like, well, if Glenda thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself. You need to um, believe in yourself. Mike Ellie, this ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see. 
Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting our generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale, that first load of money, it becomes addictive. It becomes very addictive. Now, what I'm going to do for the, you know, starting next week, there's going to be a lot of new training. So I'm going to do a video probably Sunday or Monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that. Now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just, you're not going to get the best use of the money. You you need to learn how to hold on to money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into um, the, the new stuff, but the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2,500 and asking for the sale. Those are only courses for business owners. Now, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff, uh, beginning business person. So once again, just go ahead. You know, if you're brand new to the channel, you just found this, welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15 K and spent it all. People that thirst, you know, that, that, that thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff. You want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. Because what I'm, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glendon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundation courses, then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.